So we'll whiz through the electronic configuration of the first uh, set of transition elements, so those that fill in the 3D. Uh, can you remember from, uh, well hopefully you will, from uh, AS, rather than writing 1S2, 2S2, we can just do the square brackets and we can use the, um, trail, uh, the Nobel gas, which is the nearest one, which is going to be argon. So we just do, so Scandi is going to be square brackets argon. Remember we formed the 4S first, 4S2, 3D. Oh, one. I see, that's where I thought And it saves us right now. So titanium. I'm so confused. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so is that because argon has. By the way, we've never done that before. So argon. Argon has 4G. Argon is has an electron equation of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3s2. You can only put Nobel gases in square brackets. If you were doing like your return, you would do. Okay, so um, so that's just basically saying that's for that configuration. Remember, you can only do Nobel gases. I'm a bit confused. So scandium has 45 electrons. Uh, Scandium? 21. Oh, You're looking at the mass. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. get it out. <laughs> Titanium <laughs> is gonna have that, but he's got an extra one, 4s2, 3d2. Vanadium again, argon, 4s2, 3d3. Chromium. Chromium is where you've got to be careful. So you may want to do this in a different colour or highlight it. Chromium. You'd expect chromium to be 4s2, 3d4. However, they actually do this. I've got a, it's six electrons in total. So what they do is they say half-filled subshells are quite stable. So they kind of get together in the dark. We're pretty similar energy, 4s2, 3d, uh, 4s, the 4s and the 3d, pretty similar energy. So let's just share the electrons evenly between us because we're pretty much the same. And it's better to spread those electrons out because electrons repel each other. So you've got to remember that. Is that Chromium is 4s1. Is that if you go past a certain number? Basically what they're saying is that means that I've got 4s is half filled and 3D is half filled. Yeah. And that's half filled subshells are stable. And then would it go like 4S2, 3D, 5? Uh, well, the next one, and it goes back to this pattern here, it becomes 4S2, 3D, 6. But how did it gain 2 Oh, well, I'm getting an extra electron. Uh, that's, uh, five. sorry, 5. Is that almost right? Yes. Thanks very much. Yeah. Um, I thought we could read Scandium wasn't a transition element. It's not, it's but not we're just it's in the it's in the um, D block, so we're just okay. going to do it. Yeah. You still need to be able to do electron configuration. Yeah. Um, iron is going to be argon, and we're using the same pattern: four S two, three D six. Cobalt again, just keep going. Nickel is the same. And they're getting more stable, aren't they? Oh, uh, no, not necessarily. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, copper. Copper is odd. Oh, no, what As well. Done? Copper says, whoa, rather than it being 3D9, let's go for 4S1, which is half filled, 3D10, which is filled. Mm. So it gets a half filled and the field one. And then for zinc, zinky, he goes um, back to everything being filled. It's quite cool how they can swap like that. Yeah, it's because they're so similar energy. So they're kind of saying, look, energetically, it's better to spread those electrons as, as much as they can. So just remember, chromium and copper are the two to watch out for. People slip up on that a lot.
Do we comment whether it's a trans question? No, you don't have to. Because I've, I've only given you one. Yeah. They could pull mother out as well. Plus. It's six more electrons than argon, right? Uh, so I'll, I would do, so take iron, iron, iron is um, 3d6, 4s2, yeah, that's the yeah. atom, it's Fe2+, plus, so I lose two electrons, so it becomes... Yeah. You turn them off 4s2, so it just becomes 3v6. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What hospital is she in? Oh, uh, I'm not actually sure, but I reckon it probably will be Bulma. Do you know, the other day I saw in the paper, basically, I have this customer that comes in and he's like the consultant surgeon of Bournemouth or something. Oh, right. And um, I saw in the paper that people who have surgery under him are five times more likely to die. And I was oh, like, okay. <laughs> cool. Does he take on the TV? Yeah, like what do you mean? He does a stroke preventing surgery. So not like the life saving one. That sounds pretty hard for us. Is it like a bit like people die? Yeah, it's very good. But uh, he gave me, gave me a bottle of Prosecco at Christmas. Wait, was that? Yeah. Would they not, when they published that data, would they not have to take into account the risk? Because they remember yeah, they no, but it was, was too, like, if it, it was the same, it's like, no. like, like an old it's no, not, but it was like compared to the same person. Okay, so they must have been paid against surgery. similar surgery. Yeah. No, that's the same surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's like, you see at the moment, like, produce loads of like GP ratings and surgery ratings. Oh my god, it's not bad. My surgery is under but it depends on the area, surely. Yeah. Rather than, so people who like pass all their, I read an article about it saying that GP practices who pass all their tests from the same company and all their, like, I don't know, people like audits and things like that have been considered excellent because some of them have rated like mm. high risk, like elevated risk. Yeah, yeah so my, the system is not like, my doctor, that. my like doctor's surgery is like under watch or something because. They're not giving people the flu jab or something, I don't okay. know. Everybody happy with yeah. that? Righty-o, so... Um, maybe we'll just do... Uh, Great time. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we'll do is... I'll give you the paper oh. to start... Okay. Now, yeah. Although I'm, I'm feeling quite um motivated by doing such an easy topic. Mm. Like, like I actually have a chance. Mm. Yeah. When I did the AS paper, I looked through like my old papers, like when I did all the sorts of like E's and C's. What are you doing? I was like, what? How will I get like the cards? Thank you. I think it's because some of them are so like, you have to be so specific, like, you may just like, 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 yeah. like, you have to like, learn it once to work. Mm. Okay. But it's okay, because pretty much all the papers are the same thing anyway. <laughs> oh, right, so this is going back to the organic chemistry. Oh, it makes me feel a bit sick. <laughs> Please don't oh, be sick. No. 